Here we have a fourth degree equation, x to the fourth minus 2x to the third plus x squared minus 4 equals 0. We're given that x equals negative 1 and x equals 2 are roots. That means that those two values for x are solutions to this equation. Since this is a fourth degree equation, the highest power on x is 4, by the fundamental theorem of algebra, that tells me that there will be four solutions. We already know two of them, negative 1 and 2. In this problem, we have to find the other two. We're going to use synthetic division as our first step. We're going to take one of the solutions, x equals negative 1, and we're going to divide the original polynomial by negative 1. I'm going to first write down the coefficients of the polynomial in decreasing degree beside the negative 1. The coefficient on the highest power, x to the fourth, is 1. The coefficient on x to the third is negative 2, along with the negative sign. The coefficient in front of x squared is 1. I don't see a term of x to the first power. I'm going to include a 0 for that term, and there's a constant of negative 4. When I do this division, because I know that x equals negative 1 is a root, the remainder must be 0. If the remainder is not 0, that would imply that negative 1 was not a root. The synthetic division process involves bringing the 1 down and then going back up to the second row. You multiply this number in the bottom row by the number in the box, negative 1, Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Add and subtract based on the signs as you come down the column. Negative 2 and negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. Be careful about the signs. Positive 1, positive 3 has a sum of 4. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And finally, negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4, which again yields a remainder of 0. Now, this means that if I would divide x to the fourth minus 2x to the third plus x squared minus x squared minus 4 divided by negative 1, I would get 1x to the third minus 3x squared minus 4x minus 4. It's not super important to write that polynomial out here because the next step is going to be to take those coefficients and divide by the other root that you were given. So here you are also given a root of 2. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this 2 Divide by 2 using these coefficients, the 1, negative 3, 4, and negative 4 from the previous step. And again, because this 2 is a solution, is a root to the original equation, this remainder must be 0. The remainder must be 0. The synthetic division process involves bringing the 1 down, multiplying it by 2. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Positive 4 plus negative 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And we see that we do, in fact, have a remainder of 0. Now, the three numbers at the bottom of this second division represent the coefficients of a quadratic. 1x to the second minus 1x plus 2. And that quadratic, x to the second minus x plus 2, is a simpler way to write it, when equal to 0 because it's a second degree, has two solutions. Those two solutions are the remaining two solutions, the remaining two roots of the original equation. So at this point, this problem boils down to solving x squared minus x plus 2 equals 0. Those will be our final two roots for the original equation. Let's find those two roots next x squared minus x plus 2 is a quadratic that does not factor. If you would attempt to factor this, you would find that it is prime. So we're going to have to use the quadratic formula to solve this. The quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. a is the coefficient in front of x squared, 1 in this case. b is the coefficient in front of the linear term x to the first, negative 1 in this quadratic and c is the constant, which in this case is 2. Substituting those values in for a, b, and c in the quadratic formula yields x equals negative, the opposite of negative 1, b, plus or minus the square root of, again, b, negative 1 squared minus 4ac, which is 4 times 1 times 2, in this case, all over 2a, all over 2 times 1. You can do some simplifying here. The opposite of negative 1 is positive 1, under the radical sign, under the square root sign, negative 1 squared is 1. 
and four times one times two is eight. The difference, one minus eight, is negative seven. So this becomes one plus or minus the square root of negative seven equals, or all over two. The square root of negative seven is an imaginary number. So let's take out an imaginary factor of i. And here we have our two solutions. i, one plus i root seven over two, and one minus i root seven over two are the final two solutions to the original equation. Our original fourth degree equation has four solutions. Negative one and two were given. We found the other two, one plus i root seven over two and one minus i root seven over two.